friends, and welcome in to Outreach Radio Chicago. We are so glad that you made us a part of your day. You can find us everywhere in the universe. We're on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like the show on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago. If you missed anything pre- or post-show content, just go to YouTube slash Mike Mercado 2333 And we are new to SoundCloud. Just look us up, Michael Mercado, and you can hear past episodes. And on today's show, we have Bob Anderson from Slingshots. Every single day, you turn on the TV, you read your Twitter feed, you read a newspaper, you hear about the violence and all the nasty stuff that is happening in our great city of Chicago. Well, the great people of Slingshots are trying to give an avenue, a resource to the young people in our city so that they can make themselves better people, give themselves an outlet to give them a chance for the future. It's going to be a very interesting show, guys. Hope you stick around. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like the page on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago. Subscribe to us on YouTube slash Mike Mercado2333. Find us on SoundCloud at Michael Mercado. Bob Anderson joins us next here on Outreach Radio Chicago. You can find us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like the show on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago. If you miss anything, just go to YouTube slash Mike Mercado2333. We have really cool pre- and post-show content. And, of course, we are brand new to SoundCloud, so go ahead and check us out. Just search Michael Mercado, and you will see some of our past episodes. And one of the things here on Outreach Radio Chicago that we try to do is... We do a lot of national shows, a lot of things that can help people all over the country. And one thing, though, that we've been really trying hard to do is get a program strictly about Chicago. Because every single day we turn on the news and we're watching anything, especially this time of year, uh, this time of season with the politics and everything. It seems like Chicago is always going through hardships. There's always something bad going on. We can always find bad news to happen. And then right away, the first thing we do is we try to blame people instead of trying to find solutions. And here on Outreach Radio Chicago, one of the main things that we try to do is give people the proper resources so they could do research and they could better their lives and help out whichever way they can. And here on today's show, we have a very special guest representing Slingshots, a a great organization right here in Chicago. He's director and founder, Bob Anderson, and he joins us here today. Bob, thank you for joining us. How are you doing today? Yeah, doing great. Thanks for letting me on your program. Oh, it's our pleasure. It's... um. It, it, it's very true when I say Chicago is one of the best cities in the world, and we just are plagued by so much negativity. And you guys over here on Slingshots do so much great work. So why don't you just give us a little information about, about yourself and, and the program in general? Uh, sure. So uh, for 20 years, I worked with teenagers in, in a local church level. I was a youth pastor for 20 years. And about a year and a half ago... I uh, left the church where I was uh, working at, and I opened up this uh, teen center called Slingshot. And um, my my goal was to reach the 6th through 12th graders in the city of Chicago, because like you said, you could turn on the the, the news and uh, or social media and see a lot of negativity about all the bad things that are happening, or even just watching and listening to what teens are talking about. And I guess you could sit and watch or talk about it, listen to it, or you could actually do something about it. And so I jumped in with both feet, and I'm going to do something about it. And so that's why I opened Slingshots Teen Center, and we're hoping to do this all over the city of Chicago over the next uh, 20, 30 years as we develop um, the teen center uh, atmosphere. So we, uh, we're working with 6th through 12th graders, um, and we're, we're concentrating on four different areas, education, um, is one area, and, and, and of course, kids, you know, we get kids that come to our team centers, they're straight-A students to kids that are failing every grade. Kids mm-hmm. just don't want to do homework, and so we're working on helping them see that education is important, not only their current education, but even pushing them on into college or the military or tech schools or something along those lines. So education uh, is super important. And then another area is vocational training, and our, currently we're doing vocational training in carpentry, uh, and in fashion merchandising, those two areas 
uh, carpentry. We're teaching the basic fundamentals of carpentry, how to read a tape measure, how to uh, use a hammer, because many of these kids have never held a tool like that in, mm-hmm. in their lives. Mm-hmm. And so far, we have built chairs, we have built bunk beds, we have showed them how to do drywall. Uh, we have also done some plumbing where they have taken toilets and sinks apart and put them back together just to teach them some of these skills to whet their appetite. And in fashion merchandising, we're teaching them the skills needed for any type of merchandising because teenagers end up working in your local stores like Target or at the mall, uh, grocery stores. And so learning some work ethic and how to merchandise products. Um, and so we have, uh, the teams have built from scratch uh, Slingshots Boutique, and Slingshots Boutique, we teach them how to hang clothes correctly, put them in the right places with boys and girls' clothes. All clothes have been donated, and they're all brand-new clothes or gently used clothes. And we decided to, after we got this all done, we're like, you know what, let's set this up and let's help the community. So all the clothes that are in this boutique are free to the kids in the community, and it's just for teenagers. So, so it's by teens, for teens, and so it's a never-ending project of where kids are learning uh, fashion merchandising. So that's that's a couple of the areas that we're working on. And then thirdly is emotional support. Mm-hmm. We get to talk to kids about everything. I mean, sometimes if you're asking good questions, kids open up and talk about their lives. And the more you know about them, the more you can help them. Uh, from family problems to boyfriend, girlfriend problems to sometimes they're, you know, they're cutting themselves and they're doing a lot of things that... Uh, you know, the teen years are very difficult to navigate, mm-hmm. so we're trying to help them with that. And then last but not least, uh, we think that to help make a teenager well-rounded, and one of the most important things is even spiritually. So we, we offer things that kids can be involved in, from Bible study, group their floats every Tuesday, to uh, a daily devotional that uh, we share with them every day at 5 o'clock. Um, and all this, of course, everything we do, kids... Um, can do this if they want to. Nobody has to do this. Nobody's forced to do this. But uh, we're trying to help make a well-rounded kid, um, and uh, hopefully we can continue to do that in the city of Chicago. And I think one of the main, one thing that I just take to heart so much is the demographic you're going after, sixth to twelfth grade. We're talking about, and you, you, you said it just a few moments ago. It's, it's a hard hard time of your life so so many things are confusing and today's day and age you know you have cyberbullying you have so many expectations you don't know how much college is going to cost you don't know if mom and dad are going to keep their job there's just so many things and i think that that voice gets lost because we as you get older you start seeing the magnitude of certain problems and i think what gets lost in translation over over growing up is how important the development is and something as simple as you're saying as lifestyle working you're 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 training on things that you're not necessarily going to get uh from 8 to 3:30 at a school it's stuff that you need to do to to you know live a life and then on top of that you're trying to teach them spirituality how uh, uh receptive have people been of this program because it, you know when we're talking about it on paper it sounds great but the idea that not as many people are running these kind of organizations are people accepting of this are they helping out like how is the community taking all of it so we've just been open a year and a half and already we've had eight or nine hundred kids wow the door. so uh, and we don't do any advertisements, all kids just telling kids. Uh, what we hear from parents that bring their kids in is the same thing, almost every parent says the same thing. We wish we had this when we were kids. It would have kept us out of so much trouble. Um, and so, um, you know, we we think that, that that's part of it. We're trying to provide a fun, safe atmosphere where kids can go after school. Sometimes they're, they're there just until parents get home from work because their parents don't necessarily want them home by themselves. Um, and so we're a place that they can stay till, till 5 o'clock or 5.30 and then go home. Um, and so we're really just working hard. You, you've heard maybe the old African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child, and Slingshot simply wants to be part of that village. We're not trying to take over the parenting role. We are simply trying to... Uh, help with their kids in, in ways that we think that are going to help make them a, a better kid. We're not judging them when they come in. We are simply, we, we take them as we get them, and we're trying to help them in all areas of life because we, we, we want them to be contributors into the community that they live in. Um, so often, you know, people are takers and takers uh, from, from different things, but we're trying to raise up a generation where 
they contribute to the community that they live in, whether that be working in, in stores or in, in, in factories or wherever they, what they grew up working, but also they could be the leaders of our, of our you know, politics in the future or whatever. We're trying to encourage them. There's a kid that comes in. He's interested in being an engineer. So we are trying to fan that flame in his education and trying to encourage him um, in those things too. So um, we're really just trying to be part of that village that are helping to raise um, the kids in, in the city of Chicago. He is the founder and director of Slingshots. He is Bob Anderson. He joins us today on Outreach Radio Chicago. Anybody interested, please give him a call at 708 320 Two three eight two. Go on Facebook and like their page at Slingshots Chicago. And if you want to visit their website, they have so many great information, testimony. You can learn a little bit more about the faculty and the staff. It is SlingshotsChicago.com. Now, Bob, there's a few things I really want to get into. You guys are so new, and you guys have already done so much in the community. What are some of the future goals of uh, of Slingshots? Are we talking expansion? Are we talking national? What are what are some of the goals that we have over the next, let's say, God willing, ten years, fifteen years? Yeah. So you know, the city of Chicago is huge, and it's not one man that is going to reach the city of Chicago. So um, it is it is going to require you know help from people and organizations that could team up and partner. But really, yeah, I, the idea is that we are able to plant Slingshot team centers all over the city of Chicago to help teams, and we're talking from the south side to the west side to the north side, all, all of these all of these places where each one will be unique. Um, but keeping um, it wherever we're at, depending on the facilities, um, we would like to have automotive, where we can teach kids some automotive and uh, uh, learning how to take care of their cars. But even just the basics of that, you know, kids can grow up learning how to fix things instead of having to ask somebody else to fix everything for them. They can learn and do it themselves, and in, in, and in doing so, help others as well. So, yeah, the idea of expansion is definitely there. We're working on this first uh, model to give an example so that when the other wards want to come in and see what we're doing, um, maybe they can help us get into their ward where they're having some problems and issues with uh, some of that team culture. But, you know, it's, it's um, we are a nonprofit 501c3 uh, organization, and it takes the the, the funds of generous people who want to um, contribute in this way to help the next generation become the leaders uh, of, of the city of Chicago. So I'm not necessarily interested in right now in going nationally. I'm actually looking right here in the city of Chicago because I think that in itself is a full-time job and then some. So, yeah, we're just we're trying to reach the city of Chicago. And that's big. I mean, somebody, like you said earlier, somebody, nobody was doing it. Somebody had to get on top of it. And the fact that good people in a local, you know, uh, ran organization are doing a nonprofit. So people who are listening right now on Outreach Radio Chicago, you know, they go on the Facebook page at Slingshot Chicago or they give you guys a call. Let's say, okay, obviously they can help out with money. I have money always helps out. But I also saw that there's times where you guys at one point a few months ago were building beds and needed uh, donations for mattresses. So is that something else that the community can do? Let's say you're struggling a little bit with money, but you just so happen to have an extra air conditioner or something like that that somebody needs. Is there other ways that people in the community can help out over here at Slingshots? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know money is one thing, but what we what really is, is needed is volunteers to be there. And the volunteer doesn't cost you money, but it costs you time, and you're investing in the lives of kids. And so after school, if people have hours available, um, they can uh, come in and help. And sometimes it's simply encouraging kids. You might be playing checkers with kids and asking some questions, getting to know them. And as you're getting to know them, you can learn about their lives and about how to help them. So we really want kids to feel uh, encouraged when they come in the door. So some people that are interested in hanging out with teenagers, uh, and they can go on our website, just slingshots Chicago dash volunteers, um, and uh, um, not dash, but backslash volunteers. And they can uh, sign up, and they can pick their hours, they can pick their day of the week. And, and of course, we do background checks on all of our volunteers. But volunteering and helping out uh, is huge, um, and that sort of thing. You know, and sometimes people work at places where they have extra things. Like maybe they work at a, a lumber yard or Home Depot, and because we do carpentry, they know somebody who has, you know, is able to give permission to hand out some lumber or some other things like those, some tools, you know, some prosper projects that we do. So. Any of those type of things, you know, you have to kind of be creative when you're doing a nonprofit. Um, and um, so, yeah, so, but volunteering is, is huge 
Um, and of course, we are accepting clothes for our boutique, and all these are clothes that will go to us teenagers. And we have a lot of kids that are using um, our our um, clothing, our boutique. And so people have, you know, I tell them brand new clothes or gently used clothes because we want to give good things to kids. Um, you know, sometimes people will say, hey, I have all these garage sale leftover things. Well, that's not what we're interested in. If you couldn't sell it for a quarter, we don't want to eat it. Right, right. So we are looking to give kids really good stuff so that they can wear them. I grew up as a, uh, a group in a group home with kids my whole life from the age of 2 to 18 years old, and I got everybody's garbage clothes, you know, and I was always embarrassed and all that sort of thing. So I want to set the standard a little bit higher so that um, we can give uh, some nice things uh, to kids. And so, so far, some people have been very responsive in that, and we've been getting some good things. Uh, right now, we're actually going after prom dresses and suits so that as prom season comes up, we can actually give out these dresses to kids who couldn't necessarily afford to buy them. Um, and uh, so we don't take any money from the from the boutique. Where they're actually just given out to kids who have a need, and so we didn't have to pay for those clothes, so we are in turn just giving them out to other people. And people can get a tax donation letter from us as well uh, for their for their generous uh, donations in that regard, too. Yeah, and I think we all agree about, uh, about that, too. Every child deserves to, you know, be warm, be comfortable. Every high school girl deserves to look like a queen on her prom date. Every man, you know, boy deserves to look like a gentleman. And you guys are giving them that outlet and that resource. And it brings me to my final question. So much bad is publicized every single day in our city. We hear it, we read it, social media, newspaper, television, it doesn't matter. But you guys are doing something so great. So what is one of the memories or one of the things that pops into your head that makes you so proud and lets you know that you're on the right path and you're allowing, like you said, this is bigger than, than you, than us. This is generation-wise that we're tr- you're trying and the organization is trying to do. What is one of the things that makes you the most proudest or gives you the, 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 the gleam of hope that, yeah, this is slingshots is, is the right way we're doing this? Well, a couple of things. We had one of our girls who's in um, seventh grade recently who was coming for about a year now, and she was not doing very well in school. And um, a couple of months ago, uh, she came in, and, and, you know, when she was opening up her phone, I was walking by, and she had this on her phone that every time she opened it, it has the words, I'm ugly. And, of course, you know, I'm a dad. I've got two daughters. But any, any, any adult seeing that on a kid's phone, especially a little girl who's, they struggle with all kinds of issues anyway yeah. um, about self-acceptance and about how pretty they are and acceptance. And so that kind of broke my heart to see that this little girl uh, had on her phone, I'm ugly. Wow. And we know teen girls, they open their phones up all day long. And yeah. She was seeing that message sunk into her. And so I was able to sit down next to her with one of our other um, female staff members and, uh, you know, just talk about how that, that First of all, we wanted to get that off of her phone because of the negativity that that sends to her, but how beautiful she is, especially in the eyes of God who created her, that he does not make mistakes, and who she is is beautiful. And so after about a half-hour conversation, not only did she take that down off of her phone and replace it with something else, but we found out she was struggling in school. Um, she was getting almost all F's in schools. Well, just a couple weeks ago, uh, after a week ago, she came in and she said, Hey, Bob. I brought my F up to a C, wow. you know, and so we celebrated with her, um, and we want to continue to encourage that type of stuff because I think sometimes they may not actually get that type of uh, encouragement or care at home, and that's what I mean by we're just trying to step in and help um, when uh, kids don't have maybe the support, you know, that they need at home for one reason or another. They just simply don't, and we have and, and we just want to be part of that village of helping teens. And so that's a scenario where that happens more often than not, where we see kids bringing their grades up, or, or they'll show us their grades on their phone, because all of them can go, you know, there's a school website and show us their grades. Mm-hmm. And we celebrate that with them. We, um, you know, do our very best to encourage them in that regard. Every day when kids come in, we ask them, do you have homework? Do you have homework? Can we help you? Now, not all the kids want to do homework after they've been in school for seven or eight hours. Yeah, right. They want a break. Mm -hmm. But they know, though, that we're there and available to help them if they need it. Um, And so some kids do uh, let us help them with that. And so I guess, you know, that's a a reward in itself. And then we we are hearing people 
these kids are, are asking all kinds of questions when it comes to the Bible and spirituality. And uh, so we're able to talk to them about the God of the Bible and, and uh, encourage them in that regard, too, to seek out for their own what they want to believe. We're not trying to make Bobites, you know, followers of Bob. <laughs> we are trying to let them use discernment uh, as they get to read the Bible and believe for themselves what they, you know, feel in their heart they ought to believe. So um, so that's that's something that, you know, over the last year and a half I've seen over and over again, and we'd like to see, continue to see that. He is the director and founder, Bob Anderson's representing Slingshots. Uh, I couldn't find anybody better to represent this. You guys are absolutely amazing. So let's do some cheap plugs so that way make sure everybody knows where they're going to. You can go to Facebook and like them at Slingshots Chicago. Go to their website, slingshotschicago.com. And, of course, give them a phone call at 708 708- 3202382 like Bob said earlier it's free to volunteer it makes you feel better and you're helping out a whole generation uh Bob Anderson thank you so much any last words for anybody listening today who might be who might need the help you're talking about who might be interested in uh in checking you guys out you guys are locally ran you guys are doing some great stuff and you know you guys are taking the ball and running with it any last words for everybody yeah just you know the families out there that are struggling with their teenagers that want some help you know, and they especially they're living in that Portage Park, Green Park area where we're at right now in the Six Corners area. To so bring their kids by to see, you know, how we can help them. And again, we're working together. We're not trying to take over parents, but we want to help the parents. And I know that when our the kids, and when we're helping the kids, I think we're helping the family. So, um, you know, and then the people that are out there that want to give some time, you know, this is a great investment. You know, I never actually feel like I'm at work. Um, I feel like I'm investing in lives, and I come home every day. And I think they will too as they begin to see how their time and investment in the life of a kid, of a kid is changing their lives. So, so we appreciate all that type of support from finances to, to uh, volunteerism and all of those things. People that may want to partner with us, they can also get hold of us as we try to reach the city of Chicago teenagers and help them um, help create an atmosphere that is bright for their future. Bob Anderson, again, you guys go. Can- Call them at 708-320-2382. It's SlingshotsChicago.com. Like them on Facebook at Slingshots Chicago. You guys are doing awesome stuff. You guys have a house here here at Outreach Radio Chicago. If you guys have anything else you guys want to do, need any information thrown out there, please let us know, and we'll be more than happy to help out, Bob. Hey, I appreciate you and all you're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much, and we'll be right back here on Outreach Radio Chicago. Another thank you to Bob Anderson from Slingshots for joining us today. Please, guys, it was he gave us a lot of good information, and I know I kept harping on it, but we hear so much bad about our city of Chicago on the news and social media, everywhere you go. And there's people out there, neighbors, friends, brothers, and sisters who are trying to make a difference, and they're doing it somewhere like this where they're teaching kids 
things like carpentry and proper work etiquette and things like that that we never think about. And somebody's out there trying to do it, helping out another generation. Please check them out. Give them a call at 708-320-2382. Or you go on their Facebook, Slingshot Chicago. So give them a like there. Or go to their website, slingshotschicago.com. Bob Anderson will help you guys out if you have any questions. They have a great staff over there. And a big thank you to Fran Mancha for helping us get this interview out there, helping us. And like we say every time, guys, you can follow us on Twitter at mercado2333. Like the page on Facebook at Outreach Radio Chicago. Listen to us on YouTube at Mike Mercado2333. Or listen to the show on SoundCloud, Michael Mercado. And suggest a show like Fran did. It was some great stuff, and we are so appreciative of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please enjoy the rest of your day. And we will see you next time here on Outreach Radio Chicago. Take us home, Hav. Hey everybody, Mike Mercado here from Outreach Radio Chicago, and I just want to thank you all for all the support you have given us on the brand new show. If someone you know wants to get the word out on a fundraiser, charity, or foundation in your local community, please send us an email at outreachradiochicago at gmail.com or send me one personally at mmercado at newswebradio.net. Or you can tweet me at mmercado2333, and don't forget to like our Facebook page at Outreach Radio Chicago. From right here at the studios, we'll see you next time on Outreach Radio Chicago.